so this uh, video will be on uh, just understanding the ratios and how to interpret uh, certain ratios so we'll give some examples of some ratios these are uh, some most common ratios that uh, would definitely pop up so we can pick one or two from the categories of ratios which are profitability gearing there is also investment ratios liquidity ratios and the like so let's begin with profitability ratios as we see as by the name profitability they help you gauge the profitability of the company so profitability ratios some examples are gross return on capital employed there is also return on equity so these are some of the main ones huh? gross profit margin net profit margin and and many more so most of the time they would like they like giving you rows and row and row i and r r o e so for example maybe rows was given up usually when they are giving you a question on ratio analysis they always be two given years for example 2019-2020 so you would find that uh, you would calculate for 2019 so like for example gross um, the formula usually is a um, profit before interest and tax over capital employed so this is just a general formula but the key point of this video is not necessarily on the formulas but how to interpret these ratios so for example we had two years 2019-20-2020 so you'll find that maybe in 2020 you had you remember these are uh, you have been form of all profitability ratios give an answer in form of a percentage for example 2019 there'll be a percentage of 25 maybe 2020 percentage of 30 percent then they would ask you to interpret this ratio what has happened why the increase so how you're going to explain this would be this uh, ratio has gone up the percentage has increased from 2019 to 2020 due to the fact that uh, more capital has been employed into the company yes just you know we would use the words the answers that we give on a certain ratio are based on what is involved in its formula most of the time that's how we respond to a given ratio analysis question so that's why it's first of all it's good to know the formula and then interpretation then there's also that other one roe roe which is return on equity so return on equity roe this one is uh, the formula is as follows Uh, profit after interest and tax profit after interest and tax over ordinary share capital ordinary share capital so that's the general formula for roe so this profit after interest and tax uh, over ordinary share so all these things will be given in the questions that's up to you to locate them and you find them and then you find the answer of this ratio times 100 remember we told you all profitability ratios are percentages so we always multiply it by times 100 yeah so again for example maybe 2019 2020 for example in 2019 you had 15 percent in 2020 you have 10 percent why the decrease in uh, this roe or the return on equity ratio why so you would say it has decreased by five percent due to the fact that most likely the profit has also gone down or you can also just say the number of uh, 
shares that are being invested in a company are also less. So all those are possible reasons. As we said, use the formula to help you answer a given ratio. It's just a key. They will know that you understood mostly from there. And now let's go to liquidity ratios. It's just a brief uh, video touching on these few pointers. Liquidity ratios, we have uh, quick the quick ratio also known as acid test acid test ratio then there is also the current ratio so these are the main ones in fact i'm just pointing out the main ones mostly which would be examined so for example quick ratio what's the formula for quick ratio quick ratio it's current assets minus inventory over current liabilities so this is a general formula for quick ratio so again given you've been given something like this for the same quick ratio you've been given 20, 2019-2020 so you would find that maybe in 2019 your quick ratio remember it's a ratio it will be always a ratio to one so maybe you found that in 2019 it was maybe at 1.2 ratio to one 2020 1.3 ratio to 1 so you will notice that in 2020 the ratio had increased huh? so comments always comments they usually say once you calculate your comments so what are you going to comment so you would say this quick ratio has increased why because this is showing that um, the company has enough current assets in order to pay off its dates so the whole point of these quick ratio or liquidity ratios in general is about paying off dates so always keep up keep that point whenever explaining them so current ratio also let's explain it current so the current ratio the formula is current assets over current liabilities current assets over current liabilities so now in 2019 for example and 2020 you might have 1.4 to the ratio 1 then you find that maybe 1.2 to the ratio 1 so you would find that when you look at this current ratio it's decreasing 1.1 uh, 1.4 1 to 1.2 so usually if your ratio is decreasing it's a bad sign the moment it starts drawing towards a one-to-one -one ratio it's a bad thing for the company because you'll be struggling to pay off your dates remember these two ratios current quick ratios you always have to mention that word of dates because the whole point of these ratios is to gauge whether you're able to pay off your your debt so if it's high you'll be saying you're able to pay off your debt and yes quite right i mentioned that you should use the formula to answer or to comment on any ratio so you can also still say that uh they are able to pay off your debt if the ratio is increasing like further away from one and also this could be due to you you have enough current assets so it's still part of the formula you've talked about it and you've answered another ratio let's go to another key ratio which comes with this invest ratios like uh, EPS earnings per share which is just a profit after interest and tax over ordinary share capital it's very similar to ROE the only difference I just forgot in in the return on equity they supposed to be plus reserves I just forgot that one this one just ends on ordinary shares so EPS is like an investment ratio like it mostly focuses on investors so even when you're commenting there will be those will be the guys you will talk about so equally this ratio given that you know that that's the general formula maybe you have 2019 2020 so maybe in 2019 you have an EPS of three quarters. Actually, this one leaves you answers in in currency form, and then in 2020 you have two quarter. It's decreasing, right? Any special is practically money that an investor gets 
what's what uh, they have invested in your company that's why they say earnings per share the shares they invested now those are the earnings are getting so if the earnings are going down what comment would you give it the investors would be discouraged to keep investing in this company because the earnings are going down and that's how you explain such kind of ratios so i just thought this video to be able to enlighten you as you read other ratio analysis equations and this is how we interpret ratios